you know, the, the value of the battle of Gettysburg and all, if you're studying it from a leadership perspective, is these leadership uh, lessons, uh, examples, all that are enduring over time. The fact that, you know, you go back to a 19th century battlefield and the tactics, of course, are irrelevant to what you would do today, but all the leadership issues, you know, when you're talking about communicating vision, you know, empowering trusted subordinates, giving them clear direction, letting them uh, do, uh, General Meade will win the Battle of Gettysburg because he's empowered his trusted subordinates, giving them clear direction and stays out of their way. That's why the, 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 generally in most Civil War battles, the Confederate decision cycle, the time of them making decisions and acting, is faster than the Federals. At Gettysburg, it'll be the other way around because Lee's having issues with his subordinates for, you know, that I haven't really talked about that, but where on the Federal side, General Meade has given clear direction, empowered his subordinates, and then they're actually, on the second day of Gettysburg, when things hang in the balance, it's the subordinates doing the right thing that'll save General Meade and Union fortunes on the second day of the Battle of Gettysburg. Like we talked about with Hancock in the first Minnesota, that's just one of many examples of things like that happening on the second day. You know, other leadership principles, you know, when you were talking about organizational climate, the danger inner circles, uh, everybody being part of empowering everybody on your team, uh, toxic leadership, ne very negative, uh, cognitive dissonance, all kinds of things that are then impediments, impediments to good leadership, actually, all of that stuff you can talk about in a battle like Gettysburg. See, so that's the value of it. Yes, the leadership's enduring. And guess what? It's not just in the military. These kind of principles and these leadership um, examples and all of this, it's internal. It even equates to civilian organizations. So if you're you know, running a major Fortune 500 corporation, these kind of leadership issues matter to you also uh, in that role.